David Viscott, let's see. We have time for one more. One more call. Okay, Celeste, line five, thinks her five-year-old may have an odd obsession. Celeste? Hello. Hi, Celeste. Hi. What's going on? My daughter is obsessed with her sexuality, and I guess she's just fascinated by it. She wants to um, experiment on her friends, and she's always talking about, oh, Mommy, I'm going to have breasts when I, when I grow up, and, and just she's just fascinated with the whole... How I old guess, is she? She's five. Okay. And what do you tell her? When she tells me and she asks me if she's going to have breasts, I tell her yes. And her response is? She's delighted. Yay. <laughs> so why, okay, so she's, you're talking to her about all these things, and what do you mean she wants to experiment with friends? Well, today one of her friends came over, and she locked, she locked them, uh, she locked herself up in the closet with their friend, and they were playing honeymoon, and I, and um, from what I gather, when I walked in the room and I opened the door, she was like, telling her to take her pants down and stuff. So This is another girl. This is another girl. So uh, what have you got on your hands there, Mom? Where is she getting these ideas from? TV. TV? Mm -hmm. What TV? Everything on TV is sex. So why are you letting her watch TV? Well, we don't watch that much TV. She's in school during the day, and at night she may watch maybe an hour of TV. What does she watch that she's so obsessed with? Um, just any shows. I mean, she could be watching the Cosby show and, you know, they hug or kiss or just... Guess what? It's not the show. What is it? It's the kid. Yeah. Um, you may have a hypersexual child. You want to know about that? I think that may. She's very hyper, period, and I think that that may... How does she do? In, is she in school? Excuse me? Yes, she is. How does she do? She does well. Yeah. She does well or she really does well? Um... She's very obedient, and as far as learning, obedient. I, I think she's okay. I think she's doing well. The teachers say that she's she's catching on very well. Okay. Um, you have a pediatrician. Yes, I do. And you? Does he know this is going on? No, because um, I just changed jobs, so I'm going to be seeing a new one. All right. So he needs to know that this is going on. It'd be interesting to take a blood sample and see what her her hormone levels are at this time. It's always good to check that out. Lord knows it's, uh, it's, it's uh, one of the parameters. Um, what you need to do is, since she's obedient, you need to remind her of uh, limits, what's inappropriateness. Okay. You just say, we don't do that because it's not what we do. And, and um, you, 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 ask, you have to be supportive, friendly, reinforcing, kind, and a certain degree of strictness is what this kid needs at this point. Kids need, need a lot more limits than you think. And the truth is, when you have limits, you feel good. I don't know about you, but if you've ever trained a puppy, when you tell the puppy what's right and what's wrong, the puppy feels secure. And kids are the same way, and so are humans. If you know what's right, you know when you're not doing something wrong and aren't going to be punished. Interesting evening, huh? It has been. And, you know, I hope you have a good day today for your well, birthday after I'm all. I'm going to have a good birthday day. And uh, you take care. We'll be seeing you next week.